recession. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Stephanie Simone. We are staying on top of the Federal Reserve's big announcement that interest rates will be increasing by three quarters of a percent, the largest single hike since 1994. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is joining us live from Rocky Hill after sitting down with the experts. Christian, what can people do now? Yeah, people and you at home will probably pay a lot more on your next credit card statement. And experts say these increases will continue throughout the year, and it's all part of the government's plan to control inflation. The Federal Reserve wants to slow down the U.S. economy because many people are spending money, so they hope to make borrowing more expensive. These are times where we have to save our money a little bit. Donna is trying to save more, something money experts are encouraging people to do for a rainy day. But Ana Camarena has to stretch her dollar for her three children. Gas is too expensive, interest rates going up, and you cannot use your credit cards anymore. So it's what I did. With interest rates increasing, expect to pay more for private student loans or for new federal loans. You will also see a jump on your credit card debt. Paying the minimum is going to drag out those payments for a really long time, unfortunately. Um, now, in the eyes of the credit bureaus, as long as you're paying at least the minimum, you're considered on time, but it's going to cost you a lot of money in interest if that's all you're paying. Ted Rossman with Bankrate.com says try and pay more than the minimum and try to save. Mortgages will also see an increase and it might not be the best time to buy. If you sell and buy something new, that house is going to cost more and your rate is going to go up. A lot of people right now are locked into a 3 or 4% mortgage. If you take out a new one at 6%, that's going to hurt. And a recent report also says that spending has gone down slightly. And that report also says that people are spending more on outside services like bars and restaurants and travel and not so much on home products like TVs. In West Hartford tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.